in these problems, we're talking about outliers in a data set. And outliers are points of data that don't seem to fit with the rest of the group. So for example, in this graph here, we have uh, a bunch of data points that all on the y-axis bunch up between 50 and 100. And then there's this guy up here almost at 200. So it doesn't seem to fit with the rest of the group. As a statistician, you want to find outliers and maybe exclude them from your data set. These points probably all have something in common. Maybe something went wrong with this point, so you want to toss it out and not look at it. So here, we're going to try to identify outliers and analyze some data after we've excluded outliers and see what the changes are. In this first problem, we have this data set right here. And it says, which of the following 11 values would be considered outliers? Oh, I'm seeing 33, 34, 42, a bunch of 40s, some 50s, a 60. We've got a 71, and we've got a 96. So between 33 and 71, um, they all kind of bunch up. They're all within uh, at least 10 of each other. And then suddenly we get this big jump up to 96 which is uh, 25 away from the next nearest one. So this 96 seems to be off on its own to a greater degree. Definitely the 33 and the 71 wouldn't be the case. If you're gonna choose outliers, you'd want um, 96 in there. Um, these would be too many, I think. So I'm gonna choose 96 here. All right, let's look at uh, the second problem. It says the median of the values is 35. So we've got our data set here. If you eliminate the outliers from the group of numbers, what is the new median? So let's look at this group of numbers. We've got a two, then we've got some a 27, some 30s, all the way up to 45. So all of these guys seem to bunch up really closely. Oh, and then we jump, you know, uh, another uh, 30 points or whatever and get up to 70, 72. So I think in this case, I would exclude the two and the 70 and the 72. The rest of these kind of bunch up together. Now, in the original data set, 35 was the median. It was in the middle. Let's see what it is now. The way I like to approach this is just to knock off one from the top and one from the bottom at the same time until we get to the middle. Or in this case, we've got a middle two. And when you're trying to find the median value, when you've got two, you just take the average there. And that would be uh, 34. So before the median was 35, when we exclude the outliers, we get 34. It's almost the same. And actually, that's why the median is such a good predictor of um, the central value of a data set when you have outliers. Uh, outliers don't affect the median as much uh, as outliers affect the mean. All right, let's try one more. This one says, name any outliers in the data. If there are outliers, find the mode when outliers are included. And again, when they are not included, if there are no outliers, find the mode of the data as it is. Okay, well, let's look at this data set. This one is not arranged uh, in, in order. So let's just take a look at what we've, got, what we've got here. I see 50s, 60s, 49, and there's 103. That might be suspicious. Oh, and there's a 15, that's pretty far away. The rest of these are either 49 and then in the 50s and 60s. So it's, it looks like our data is bunched in the 50s and 60s but the 15 would be far away from that and the 103 would be far away from that. So I'm gonna say 103 and 15 are outliers. Now here, the mode, it's actually not going to change when we exclude the outliers. The mode, remember, is just the value that appears the most often. So let's look for that. Now I'm seeing a lot of 65s, one, two, three. Did I get them all? Let's see, there are two 59s in there, but I don't think there's anything else that has three. So it looks like the mode is 65, and it doesn't matter if I exclude or include the, the outliers, that mode is going to remain 65. So in this case, 103 and 15 are outliers, and the mode remains 65 with or without. So that's a little bit of work with outliers.